lucky the last three years, let alone 30 years, but you might not want to tell Glenn Campbell that. What we're going to do is mark the spots on this track, okay. and I'll get them, since I ain't going to have no enough power to do a whole lot of tapes. I remember not too long ago. Hey, Fraser. Was it? I, I've said, I remember I've said. not too long ago. ago. I remember not too long ago. When you think of artists who successfully walked the line between pop and country, names like Garth Brooks, Dwight Yoakam, and Katie Lane come to mind. But one man often overlooked in that list has been bouncing between music styles for over 30 years. It keeps you with a country and holiday album out this year, Glenn Campbell is putting the finishing touches on his fourth Christian release to date. Oh, Jesus, bring back the boy in me. I'd rather see the Christian stuff be a success because the more people you can bring to the side of the good and, uh, and the honesty and just and fairness of life that you find in Jesus Christ, I think we'll all be better off and for that than we would, you know, talking about hanging out in the bar and getting drunk and smoking because I quit doing all that about seven years ago. If I knew then what I know now, I would have been content to play. And at a time when most of his peers are beginning to slow down their careers, Glenn is using his newfound energy to keep his in full swing. It's amazing how great you feel in your own mind, you know. Be insane, I'll put it that way, because uh, alcohol, drugs, and I think even nicotine has an effect on you. After two years as co-host for one of Branson, Missouri's biggest theaters, the Grand Palace, Glenn is taking the show down the street to his own theater, scheduled to open in June of 94. Well, the Grand Palace they had was a two-star policy, and they found out after two years, and I did too, that you don't need that. You don't need two stars. And uh, to get the opportunity to go into my own theater and be, to have total control of the show, then I won't have to be blaming anything else on it, because you could, I couldn't hardly do a production type of show in the Grand Palace. And I know now living in the past. And whether it's Christian, pop, or country, what keeps Glenn going after 30 years is simply playing music he likes. Oh, Jesus. I've learned a long time ago that if I sing songs that I really like and I really want to play, the audience enjoys them more because I think I'm more into the songs. Keep up the good work, Glenn. Now, spending time in the recording studio isn't the only thing keeping him busy. Just last week, he hosted a locally televised concert in Godfrey, Illinois, to benefit flood victims in the area.